Of course, it's my parents. When I was a teenager, I do everything during Japanese occupation. And uh, although my parents did not assist me, but uh, young inspiration, the inspiration which was given to me by my father, I uh, want to continue the uh, work what he's doing. Well, one thing I live by is that uh, I want to be a philanthropist. And uh, because my uh, way of thinking is if you make something, you give back to the society. You know, I always pity people. Like, for instance, uh, when I see young boy in the street selling Sampagita, although I, need, I do not need the Sampagita, but I extend to buy few Sampagitas from them. You, the way how you pity people, uh, that they are uh, the unfortunate one. That's why I decided to run the hospital so that I can help people for more than 30 years already. That is my way of helping mga, the people who are poor people, who cannot afford. We conduct medical mission every week in the press area. That is uh, what I'm doing. Whenever there's calamity in our country, I am there. Like recently, the uh, earthquake in Porak, Pampanga, I brought a medical mission and uh, together with uh, relief goods, you know, and one of the young ladies who is 25 years old, the, the leg was uh, damaged, the bones was damaged. So she was uh, operated by the local hospital. So the father was there, I offered the father, I said, after your uh, daughter gets well, come to the hospital, I'll give you a free artificial legs. And if the company cannot uh, give her a job again, come to me, I'll give you a job. You, you know, when uh, after uh, liberation, I went back to school. And then uh, uh, at the same time, if I had spare time, I worked for my father's store until I become his GM at the age of 26. So I left him and then I started the recording company, which is Dyna. That is my first venture in business. And it was very successful. Uh, God's willing that uh, he gave me the chance to prove that uh, my talent is uh, one word. And then, uh, you know, I was the one who distribute uh, the beaters in the Philippines, the Abbas, uh, the <laughs> so many uh, Gary and uh, the Playboys, Peter and Gordon, Richard, local artists I built up, Jose Mari Chan. Uh, those are the one, the young one. Now I have uh, Gary Valenciano, Martin Nevera in my company. Of course, originally it's the music, it's in my heart. I myself, during my young days, I'm a sax player, saxophone player, yeah, harmonica player, so I have a love for music, so I do that as a main business. After that business successful, I diversify already into many other lines like electrical, travel, uh, pharmaceutical products, machineries, hotels, and others, and so on and so forth. Well, Chinese General Hospital is a foundation. And uh, when I become a board of director, I saw that uh, this institution should be uh, one expanded. So after my predecessor, I become the uh, chairman of the board and then uh, eventually become president and CEO of the uh, hospital. So that was in the year 1989. I started uh, running the hospital. I expanded it. I built so many buildings, new, new equipments for the hospital. 
because uh, if you want to maintain good uh, doctors in the hospital you must have good equipment when you have good equipment you must have good doctors it uh, one it uh, compensate each uh, other you know this organization actually uh, is was established in the year 1877 during the Spanish time that is the first organization that which uh, the Filipino Chinese established. During the early days, it's called, in Spanish time, it's called Comunidad de Chino, the Chinese community. After that, it became the Philippine Chinese Charitable Association. In the, eight, in the year 1878, uh, when uh, the Chinese people who died, if you are a non-Catholic, you cannot bury it in uh, Cemetery La Loma. So, our ancestors bought a big truck of land, 50 hectares of this land, and established the Chinese cemetery. And uh, one of our national heroes, Apolinario Mamini, was buried there because he is a non-Catholic, so he was buried there. In the year 1965, Apolinario Mabini was, yung uh, bones niya was transferred to, uh, I believe it's in Tanawan, Batangas. That is the Iquan. And then uh, when uh, the Chinese people get sick during the early days, in the year 1891, we established the Chinese General Hospital. Now, which at that time only Chinese medicine. Later on, it became Western medicine. And our first medical director is the Dr. T. Han Ki, the father of the late Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. In uh, 1921, we are running short of nurses, so we established the College of Nursing. Now, 2018, October, I started College of Medicine also. We are uh, training doctors studying there. And uh, 1951, we established the home for the aged. Those Chinese who uh, is homeless, no children, no heir to take care of them, we took them in. As as soon as they are being certified by the family association. And every day we feed them, we send doctors and nurses to check on them. And downtown uh, Manila, our headquarters in Soler Street, we have established 1952, the free clinic there. Any nationality, all walks of life, they can go there and consult our doctor and nurses, free of charge. Of course, as a businessman, first of all, when you uh, have a family, you think of your family muna, no? How to uh, subsidize the uh, expenses for your family. And then luckily, if you make it successful, then uh, I always tell people, do not put your eggs in one basket. The moment you drop it, all the eggs gone. So when you make something successful, you start diversifying to other ventures already. So I have different line of business now. You must know how to, uh, Juan, to use people. That people whom you can use it must trustworthy. You can trust them. So that is the Juan. Then I preside board meeting only. And I see to it what are the sales, what are the expenses, uh, conduct board meeting. That is only my job. But my full time is running this charity institution and the Chamber of Commerce, of course, here. Most important is the hospital and the College of Nursing and Medicine. Uh, Well, my latest achievement is I become the third man in the Philippine Red Cross as governor and national treasurer. That is a very important uh, 
charity organization also that which can help a lot of people, especially uh, Red Cross is the one of the largest blood bank in the country, even bigger than the government's uh, blood bank. Uh, we have about 24 blood banks all over the country. 81 chapters has blood uh, one available in 81 chapters. So this is in relation to the hospital. The hospital sometimes is limited only on blood. So when I become governor, you know, I can help people uh, purchase uh, blood from Philippine Red Cross. Well, uh, you know, we have so many poor people in this country. You know, we have 81 provinces. So we go around in medical mission to help our people. We bring doctors, free medicines, as well as eyeglasses. Sometimes minor operation, we do it there. I love to help people. That's why I mentioned to you earlier, uh, whenever there's calamity, earthquake, volcano, volcanic eruption, uh, flood, typhoon, we are there. Sometime I was thinking of retiring already. But on the other hand, I said, if I retire, I cannot help people. So maybe I'm decided to uh, continue my charitable words until the last breath I have. <laughs> yeah. Hanggang uh, Juan, as uh, I, I'm able to still handle it, I would like to continue. However, I'm training some, some young people now, two or three young people in the organization, so that when I'm gone, they can succeed me in uh, what I'm doing. I'm teaching them what to do. Well, my advice to the young people is nothing comes easy to this world. If you want something, you have to work hard. Work hard, work for it. No? After schooling, you have to start working already. I always tell people, when you work after school, when you reach 45 up to 50, if you have not achieved anything yet, I did not say you don't have a chance. You still have chance, but the chance is very slim already. Because I always compare the water. No matter how high the water goes, it will go down. So that is the start of going down already. After 45, 50, you want something, work hard. You see people who are those tycoon, taipans, huh? they work very hard. I know the history, how they work. I worked hard as a young man during the Japanese occupation. I became a vendor. I sell a lot of things. Uh, I enter many lines. I manufacture something myself as a young man. So I have all the experience in business. So when I started my own, I know what to do. I always tell people, when you are a businessman, sit for raining season. Sit for raining season. Not every day is a holiday. When you make it, you save it. Not until uh, you need it. Sometimes, you know, a lot of our people, when they get sick, they want to go to a hospital. They do not have the means. They do not have the money. But I always say it. Save for rainy season, so that when you save, someday you want to do something, you have the capital to run your business. How would you start if you do not have saving? No? I always tell people, if you make 1,000, maybe you spend two or 300, save the others five to 700 pesos, so that in due time you have accumulated something that which you can enter into business.